2002, the zombie genre was given a big boost for me, with the release of 28 Days Later. The fact that it was directed by Danny Boyle, who at the time was probably best known for the masterpiece film Trainspotting to me, gave me hope that it was at least going to be well done, and gave me an inkling that it was probably going to have a lot of British actors. And holy shit, it did not disappoint. Within minutes of this movie starting up, it cranks up the shock value. Butter. And then, within only a few more minutes, it gives you, without delay, your fucking zombies. Or, as in 28 Days Later, they are called the Infected. This is where the main character, who is played by Cillian Murphy, encounters his first zombie, has to run for his life, is rescued by other survivors, and is given the brief story on what's going on. Now unlike other zombie movies, 28 Days Later decided to throw a twist. In 28 Days Later, it is not merely a virus that is waking up the dead, but in fact an infection called rage that is causing these people to go on lunatic rampages. Now it never fully describes in the movie if they are completely zombies or if they are just rabid like humans, but you never really get a chance to think about it because the action is just overwhelming at certain points. Now I'm not gonna lie, this movie has its share of down spots, but the fact that the scenes with the infected are so hair raising, you're always on your toes. So in conclusion, in 2002, it was a welcome new look at zombies. It scared me multiple times, and I love showing people who've never seen it, just so I could watch them jump out of their seats. Oh yeah, the zombies in this movie run. So until next time, so you're 8BitMD, hope you enjoyed your Halloween harvest, and we'll see you next time.